today I'm about to press the pumpkin podcast.com website in the background. I'm going to post it on bigpumpkins.com and I'm hoping people jump on board and want to take part in this. It's sort of a risk, but nothing too big. But there was two ways of doing it. And initially, I was going to talk to people and get the interviews done and then announce the podcast, which I guess in some ways makes more sense. But if it doesn't work, there was costs involved in doing it that way. Whereas this way, um, minimal costs, I'm going to just put it out there. And the reason I think, the reason that I wanted to do it that way is because the pumpkin auctions are finished. Everyone's gearing up for growing in the Northern Hemisphere and the GPC um, convention, the big show, whatever you want to call it, is happening at the end of February. And I was thinking if I announced it now, then hopefully these growers will be like, hey, let's you know, have a bit of a conversation about it. And hopefully some of the people that do listen to podcasts can actually say, hey, this is a pretty cool thing. Because I think it is. It's, it, I think it's going to be great. There's so many niche podcasts around and one of the big ones here in New Zealand is actually beekeeping. There's a bunch of people and they do a beekeeping podcast and it's super popular, like crazy. And it's sort of the motivation and inspiration and all that stuff around doing this. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the pumpkin is growing every day in the patch. It's one of those times that I really, really wish I had a normal pumpkin patch, to be honest. But uh, there we go. I uh, hope everything's going well with you. More video later on in the week. Here we go. Tim's telling me about the rain that he had in his patch. Is that a good thing, Tim? Did you like the rain? Loved it anyway. The farm loved it. That's good to know. Here I am. I'm stalking Tim again. I'm checking out his pumpkin patch. It's good that he lives so close. Uh, New Zealand's best pumpkin grower. I'm going to just throw that out there. Tim's probably just going to be real modest about it. It's a real Kiwi thing, actually. Uh, people are modest about all sorts of achievements, but Tim, rightly so, has had the New Zealand record twice, and it looks like it's on track to be beaten for a third time. Do you think? I hope so. From what I've seen on Facebook and the figures you've been posting and the comments people have been giving you. Um, so the patch got hammered by wind. Yeah, How long ago? Two weeks? Three weeks. Oh, now nearly a month ago now. About a month ago. Yep. And it was almost cause for concern. I know, a bit of freaking out there. Yep. See, we've got the fan going there, drying out the uh, blossom end. Yes. Okay, let's check it out. So this is Tim. We've got Alex here as well. Hey, Alex. You want to wave? Hi. He's a man of many words, just like his dad. <laughs> um, but Alex's pumpkin is down the end, and that's what I'm actually here to see. Let's just forget about this. No one wants to see Tim's patch. No, I lie. Everyone wants to see Tim's patch. Um, man, look at that pumpkin. What's the estimated weight at the moment? Uh, just gone over 1,100 pounds. <sighs> 900 to go. Yeah. 900 to go. I'm looking forward to weighing that in. As always, every time I come here, when it's that pump looks massive. It looks big, eh? Um, that actually looks similar to the size of your other pumpkins I've seen previous years, but later in the season. Yeah. That's. Is that a fair enough fair comment? Um, well, it take me if it doesn't lie, eh? No, that's right. Look at all this. It's great. Um, you happy? You obviously happy with how everything's going? Yeah, yeah. Like back half of my no, sorry, the front half of my plant looks is great. Uh, back half is a bit getting a bit old and damaged from the storm and things like that. Yeah. Um, but hey, it's, it's chugging along, all right. Um, been gaining sort of mid forty pounds a day. Man, um, that's pretty cool. I think mine's been doing two pounds <laughs> in the world's smallest giant pumpkin patch so Tim's got the fan going to dry out the uh, blossom end because of the rain and something that's happened here in New Zealand is uh, no one has any fans uh, due to all that humid uh, humidity and hot temperatures I keep talking about everyone sold out so good luck buying a fan because they're real expensive now I hope that's all hooked up 
you know. Legitly? Yeah, uh, you know, with like an RCD or something on the other yeah, end. Yeah, of course it does. Of course. No, it's looking good. Are you happy with the shape? Yeah, no, I love it. Excellent. And what seed's this one? Uh, it's a 2145. Oh, here we are, Alex's. Here we are, Alex's pumpkin. Uh, I really, really like the covers, the sheets. They're great. Are you happy with how it's been growing, Alex? Yeah. Yeah. Man. Almost need sunglasses for that one. And what's your personal best, Alex? 254. 254, and this is already taping at over 400? No. Yep. Well, 400. 400, exactly. Man, that's impressive. Really cool. Looking forward to weighing that as well. 550 square feet, yep. Uh, and this is, what seeds is this, Alex? Um, 1487. Yep. 1487. This might 1487 from last year always great to come out and see all this amazing pumpkin growing happening right here just sort of down the road uh tim's also looking forward to becoming a guest on the pumpkin podcast later <laughs> he loves talking so it'd be good to get some sort of story out of him so as well as having tim's new almost record-breaking pumpkin we'll find out on april the 8th and i'll uh, let everybody know what's happening there we've got alex's over there which is doing great We've got one over here, um, which is on track to being doing well as well. And then there's another backup Tim's just let me know about, hidden away in here. And it looks like it's going to get cold tonight. But it uh, looks like everything's going really well out here at the Harris Farm. So look forward to seeing how it goes at the way off. Not sure if I'll make it out here in between. Hopefully I will. But Tim, where are you going next week? <laughs> off to Australia. Tim is off to Australia to catch up with some other giant pumpkin growers. He'll be catching up with Shane, I know, uh, and Philip. Yep. Anyone else? Uh, no, just the two of them. I'm sure they'll pumpkins. rope in some other people. Yeah. So, Australia um, is our closest neighbour. Great people, but growing in really, real extreme weather. Um, sometimes they've got, I know Shane deals with a lot of wind um, and just the heat. Uh, so it'll be interesting. I, yeah, I look forward to a report back from Tim. He said he's going to take heaps of photos for me. Uh, should be good. Alex is going as well, so Alex is going to be... You excited about your trip, Alex? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What's going to be the best bit? I don't know. <laughs> I look forward to hearing an in-depth in -depth, uh, story from you as well. I got this uh, miniature from the pumpkin carnival. Yep. And then um, it started to rot, so I chucked it out my window, and then pumpkins started to grow. And I've just spied it, so you see this giant, giant pumpkin patch over here, and just out of the corner of my eye, I saw a little tiny vine just over there. So this is the self-seeded miniature. Miniatures. Whoa, it's looking good, looking good. Is there any on there yet, at the moment? Yeah, there's one here and there's one over there. Oh, that's it. There it is. That's got some great texture on it. And then there's one over there. It's got baking paper on it. Awesome. That's a good idea. So there we go. We caught up with Tim, which was very cool. Big thank you to Tim and his family and Alex as well. Let's not forget Alex for letting me go out there and check out what's happening in his pumpkin patch, which is always mind-blowing and uh, really inspirational, actually. Uh, so that's really cool to check out. The rain's just decided to pour down here, so hopefully it's not too loud, I'm not sure. And uh, I've got three people keen to talk on the Pumpkin Podcast. We're just trying to work out logistics of times, being in different time zones uh, isn't helpful. Got a fourth person that's probably keen when I hassle them a bit more. And then from there, going to get more and more people and hopefully have some really good discussions. So if you want to be on the Pumpkin Podcast, make sure to check out thepumpkinpodcast.com. All the info is there, or you can flick me an email, uh, use the form on the website, and everything could be great. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'll be uploading this one to YouTube and Facebook at the same time. I'm going to try that out and see what's happening there. I'll catch you next time. 
and I hope your pumpkins are growing well.